Hey everyone, it's Terry Vanover with Choosing to Rise and I'm a divorce strategist and I help you come through divorce without being legally, financially, and emotionally devastated. But just as important, I help you to heal from a toxic relationship so that you can transition confidently into that next phase of your life and so that you don't repeat the same mistakes so you can go on and have a healthy, happy new relationship. So today we are gonna be talking about what to do when times are tough, how to find that strength when you feel like giving in, when you feel like you can't keep going on, right? So I'm gonna share those tips for you and why it's important that you, you, you get the right support during this time. This time is so overwhelming. It's one of the most devastating events you'll ever occur in your whole lifetime. My hope is that you never have it happen to you, but should you have it, happen to you it's it's important that you get the right support because listen it can lead to depression chronic pain uh, chronic illnesses um, I've seen people where it's affected their health to the point where they had an underlying health issue and it aggravated seizures I mean it is important it's life and like life important life threatening if you don't get the right support so it's so important that you do what you need to get through this time all right so just this so uh, and another part of my mission also is to help you to heal this because here's the thing once you've had one divorce the chance of you having another divorce and if you have kids is 70% second marriages end at a rate actually because the first divorce rate is actually on the decline right now but the second marriage divorce rate is on the increase so it's really important that you you take the time and heal yourself from this and you work through the issues because the chances of them just resurfacing again, very, very high. You know, it's, it's, so, it's just such a crazy statistic to me because you wouldn't get on an airplane, right? If you knew the likelihood of that airplane is gonna crash at 70%, no. But we jump on that second marriage, right, with the hope that it's all gonna work out. But the likelihood of that and the reality of that is very, very different because once you've had one divorce, you've got exes, you've got kids, the stress is, is compounded and many people don't do the work on themselves to heal their baggage. And so they just bring it into their next relationship. So what do you do when you are going through divorce and you feel like you can't go on? How do you find that strength? Well. The first thing, and I, I feel like a broken record, but it's so true, self-care, self-care, self-care. You have to take care of yourself. You need to eat properly. You need to get rest. You need to go to the gym above everything else. Go to your meditative practices. Go to your yoga class. Whatever you do, make your self-care, make your workouts, make all of that a priority. Whatever it is that nourishes your soul and helps get your energy back, helps you feel good about yourself, do that and everything else be damned, right? Like it doesn't matter if there's dishes in the sink or that needs to be like, whatever it is, make it a priority to, to do what makes you feel good. Prioritize yourself, eating well, working out, going for those walks. Um, for me, when I was going through my divorce, in order to keep up with my, my workouts and runs, I'd sign up for races like that would encourage me and motivate me to make sure that I was practicing my running every day. So that's really important. So the next thing, and I, this sounds cliche, but it is so true. Go to your place of gratitude. Practice gratitude every day because here's the thing. What you focus on, you're going to get more of. And so if you are seeing good things around you, you're going to be experiencing these things. So it is a really, really time of negativity. There's negative people. There's negative circumstances, negative events going on around you. But it is really, really important that you focus on the good things in your life. Practice those gratitudes. You know, you know, for me, I'm a mom and I, I do this practice in my, it's my professional uh, planner that I do this. It's actually for my business, but it's interesting how when I'm practicing these gratitude, I noticed today, I recognized how I was noticing these things about my son and I was like noticing them 
and I started seeing more and more and more of them. And I think it's the momentum of me noticing and acknowledging that to him. He started doing it more, being more responsible, being a leader. It was amazing, the, the, you know, bringing that consciousness to a whole new level. So once you start seeing the good, you'll start seeing more of that. So start feeding your soul with all the good stuff that's going on. And you might have to start out with those little things at first, like I'm healthy, I got out of bed. <laughs> like I know when you're in the midst of like the dark, dark, dark times, you do have to be grateful for those little things. So, and then the next thing is to celebrate your wins, acknowledge your wins. When you're going through these dark times, it's easy to forget like, oh my God, I've got so much longer to go. I can't do it. I can't keep doing this, right? I've been there, done that. But the truth is you have to like recognize where you started from and, and how far you've come. I had a client and when, I, when she, she first, um, we first started working together, she was so paralyzed, she couldn't even open an email. So she would just, any emails from her attorney, she just ignore. And like, that was not helping. That was not that was just prolonging the situation. So we tapped into her strengths and we would acknowledge her win. So a big part of this was she had this perception of herself and it was my job to say, hey, look at how resourceful you are. Look at how strong you are. Look at how you've been able to navigate this, this, and this situation. Now apply this to that situation. And she's like a totally different person. She's strong. She's confident. She negotiates things with people that, you know, she, she hadn't done in 30 years. And, but it was there all along. So all I did was just hold up the mirror and say, look at what you were doing. Look at where you were. Look at how far you've come. We've tapped into those strengths within my clients so that they can then apply that during their dark times. It's really easy to get mired down into our weaknesses and get mired down into the situation itself. But if you know what your strengths are and you can monopolize those and take advantage of those, it gets easier to get through these dark times. So acknowledging your wins, looking at your strengths and applying those strengths in a situation that you didn't know you even had. And then lastly is get the right support, right? So it doesn't have to be me, but hire a divorce strategist, a divorce coach that can help you through this because we have special expertise on how to get through the grieving situation of a divorce and to, to get through this time. You know, I went through a horrendous divorce and I look back at who I was going through that and I don't even recognize that woman. It was such an emotionally overwhelming time for me. I made so many mistakes. I can't even believe, I don't know who that woman was because so many emotions were going on. And now I wish I'd had the right support to help me say, look, you need this, this, this. And here are some things that you can do. Here are some resources. Here's, you tap into your strengths, do this, right? Like someone to help me navigate this time. It's so overwhelming. I feel like I'm a pretty resourceful person. And during that time, I definitely was not a resourceful person. I didn't do my homework. I didn't look for resources and help and support and and the right places and ended up making mistakes that cost me my home, cost me, it prolonged my, my process itself, wasted $20,000. Oh, I wasted so much time and money, you know? And so I don't wanna see people making those mistakes, right? So getting the right support so that you have the right tools, the right resources, the right referrals of who to talk to, and also helping you to tap into your strengths and tap into your energy and helping you to, to get the clarity you need because sometimes you don't even know what decision to make and how to proceed, right? And think about like how to get through this time I, I use the term future self with my with my clients because I want them to think when you're out of this situation, right? You're out of the mud, you're out of this really horrible time. What do you look back and hope you will have accomplished and done? And we, we write a vision for their life. So it's really important that you get the right support because there's so many people out there giving 
really bad advice that might have a hidden agenda. Your sister might mean well, <laughs> but she might have a hidden agenda and she, you know, might not think about the long-term ramifications or every situation is different. So it's important you understand that. So look, if you're struggling, if you're overwhelmed and you don't know where to turn to, there is support out there. So I offer complimentary phone sessions and I can help give you some some insights on how to get through your divorce without being legally financially and emotionally devastated so feel free to reach out to me right here on Facebook or email me at Terry Vanover at Comcast.net and I'm happy to to talk with you and we can figure out how to get through this time all right y'all have a great week I will talk to you next week all right take care